It's the final countdown for the 2020 census, the once a decade national survey and September 30th. And California is making a final push to get residents to answer the nine question form today and make sure they're counted. Billions of dollars in federal funding for emergency services, health care, education and much more are at stake, not to mention representation in government. California's diverse population makes it the toughest state in the nation to count and COVID-19 has limited in-person outreach. Long Beach Mayor Robert Garcia is here now to talk about the importance of completing the 2020 census and achieving a complete count in California. Mayor, the census has no doubt been impacted by coronavirus and dates have changed and now September 30th is when they're aiming to have it all wrapped up. How's this going to affect the final count? Well, we're very concerned already about the count as is. We know that um, cities across California have an undercount when you look at the numbers of where we were 10 years ago. So we really need everyone in the state uh, who has not filled out their census uh, to fill out their census today. It only takes five, seven minutes uh, tops. Um, and so we have millions of folks that really need to uh, step up and understand that the funding is needed for health care, education, uh, and for funding for here, uh, us here in California. Well, what's at risk? I mean, you mentioned some of the things right there that, that get funded because of the census. So if Californians don't take it, it's a big risk for, for these dollars. It's a huge risk. Just take COVID as an example. Uh, the state lost out um, tens and tens of millions of dollars in COVID funding uh, just because of the undercount that happened 10 years ago. Uh, so many cities uh, missed millions of dollars of funding for testing, for PPE, uh, for community health organizations because of under the same will happen in the future so uh, the counting uh, affects everything everything from how much money your school gets that your children go to uh, to how much money goes to fixing our roads in your neighborhoods um, to important things like health care and COVID-19. So what about the impact specifically in black and Latino communities? That's and that's where we have the biggest challenge I mean we know that um, it's almost always the case that harder to count communities are typically low income. They're communities of color all throughout the state of California. Uh, and those, those communities need to be counted more than ever uh, because of the high unemployment rate and the, the access needed to health care because of COVID. So it's particularly within uh, Latino communities, uh, black communities, um, uh, a lot of our Asian communities across the state, um, they have to get counted. Uh, we also know that um, people forget that the census counts everybody, whether you're documented or not. Everyone should get counted. That's what that is the legal law in this country. And so a lot of people that are undocumented are scared to participate in the census, um, but that they shouldn't be. They should get counted and they, we need it for federal funding. Right. I think it's important that you mentioned that. Now, where's the count at right now? How many people have done their part and answered the call? So we know that um, there has been over uh, uh, 10 million uh, uh, folks that have already participated in the census uh, directly, I, I believe, in the last in the last count. But we have a couple million that are still undercounted from the last time we did the count. So we really need um, a, just a bigger focus on getting uh, everyone uh, online, telephone, or by mail uh, that they receive counted uh, today. We're also um, aware that there are some efforts to get that census date extended and pushed back out. Uh, we're hoping that happens, uh, but we're, you know, we're, we're not putting all of our eggs in that basket. Folks should really sign up today if they can. Uh, the website is accessible. Uh, it's it's uh, um, uh, on, on every single government site, almost on every home page to fill out the census. People should get involved as soon as they can. Mayor Garcia, I know here in Sacramento, there are people going door to door, federal agents or federal uh, employees, I should say, that are going door to door to get the info from people who have not responded. So you might be getting a knock on your door. That's right. I mean, we're, we're, we have census workers out uh, doing the door knocks all across the state of California, um, but it is, it is harder because of COVID-19. People are also less likely to open the door. Yeah, I'm um, sure. People need to understand if they're feeling like, what can I do today to help the COVID crisis? You can fill out the census. And so that's a way of helping your state and your community get those dollars. And in Sacramento, um, Sacramento, um, because of undercounts, also received less resources around COVID-19. So people need to get uh, their applications filled out. Yeah, and you were saying it's only five to seven minutes. It's not any personal information, not your social security number, no uh, bank information. It, it's demographic information. Absolutely. We, uh, the, the, we just need to understand who folks are, 
Uh, we want just people in California to be counted. Um, you know, a state like California is harder to count than other states because we have so many urban cities and centers like Sacramento, like Long Beach, like Los Angeles. And so these places are harder to count um, because of the, the differentiating uh, 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 the different income levels, um, the different languages that are spoken, and Sacramento has a lot of language uh, 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 differences, right, as the uh, shares in California. So we really need folks to know that the census will help you uh, fill it out in any language that you so choose. So we're there to help. The state's doing a great job. Governor Newsom is doing a great job of putting in a lot of resources to help cities get up. Okay, very good. Long Beach Mayor. Garcia, thanks for joining us, and it's not too late. You can also respond. You don't want to get that knock on your respond to the 2020 census. Go to my2020census.gov.